Ah, uh, okay. I'm just gonna remove it right here. This is the most lamest freaking strategy ever. How in the world that hit? That's still another problem. Yep, gotta remember the throws and counter throws. Oh crap! Oh really? Really? A clean block out of that. Yeah. That How happens. did he finish you with the clean block? But you almost had it. Yeah. The thing is, it just went, it's just that that one hit, the free, that weird, that... that like one-sixth of his bar left. Yeah. And you gave, I seriously think you could have, like, scored two points of chip damage, you got him in danger. Yeah. And then, yeah, all you'd have to do is pull your ultimate. The only thing I was trying, what I was trying to do was force him, hold on a second. I was trying to, it's like, I was trying to force him into a situation where he could oh, shadow counter. Oh, yeah, you know, he's been, trust me, I mean, I know, I know what he's been doing. But he, but that's the thing. And he's not always able to, he's not always able to do that. Yeah, just go straight, opener, finisher. Don't even give him combo breaker opportunity. No, he'll still, he'll, he'll still do it. Remember, this is a guy who, who, who breaks a shadow eclipse. That's something, I mean, that's not possible to do. How do you know it's impossible to uh, do? He because he's multiple times. Yeah. I mean, have you, you can't. You, into you can't, you cannot combo break a shadow. You can shadow break it, but you cannot straight up combo break it. Um, Tony, remember, this guy does think that... Oh, crap, I messed it up. Oh, God. Yeah, I messed it up. I blew the shadow counter. Oh, mother... What oh, what the, the hell? That, that? that does not work that way. <laughs> that does yeah, not work that teach, way. Someone teach this guy how the game works. I don't think he understands. I'm not even trying. I wasn't even trying to do that. It didn't, the clips didn't register. Uh, see, this is where the AI uses your controls. Not functioning correctly as a cheat. Oh, what that, the crazy he he, d he did the instinct. It's because I hit the t I hit the shadow counter. He he pulled the it's just the instinct right at that moment. It's just mashing. Oh good, he's out of instinct now. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, oh, oh shit. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I don't what the hell? Why did the he shadow cutter go off? He altered against you blocking his move. Well, it's the fact I did the shadow counter and the damn shadow counter didn't even go off. It yeah. just didn't go it just it, it just it's screw it's your just, shadow yeah, counter. I, I mean it's it's screw your shadow counter. I'm just gonna make it a clean hit so we could you know, so I can just go ahead and just end the fight. That's the only way you're gonna do it. Yeah. Nothing else will work. Hey, it's working. Sometimes it is just about getting back to basics. You're getting all that fancy high flying combo stuff and just get back to like good old Street Fighter 2 basics. <laughs> Uh, 
read the damage oh, structures. No, no, seriously, she does not want to read. What's up? They're right in here. If I didn't get the instructions. Is there some instructions there? Oh, yeah. I gave it to you. He's got it. <clears throat> I don't know if yours is the same kind. It's just the same. All right. Make an interesting commentary on this. Can I wait a little bit on that? Oh, somebody oh, went shit. Shit, shit damage. <laughs> there would have been a perfect punish time too. I'm kind of waiting. On, I'm kind of waiting on my update because I had to because I had to shut it off and wait for the wait for the network. And what even is that? That's what I'm talking about. Bogus. That's what I'm talking about. Dedicated champion right here. <laughs> that took forever. And yeah, I was actually playing through this throughout the throughout the, the rest of the, throughout the day. It also revealed vulnerability. Which I think a lot of people have already seen this, but I don't care if I guess I managed to do it before season two came out. And, which had went in the most lamest way possible. Turtle everything. Turtle everything. Yep, turtles and throws, man. Unfortunately, which, you know, he's not like these I, pro players who can tech throw any BS. And not, well, not every character can tech throw, actually. I don't care. It just the fact. It's it's yeah, stupid. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Shadow Jago was. It, he's pretty. He's I mean, like he's seriously, he's hey, you, you had the TJ oh, combo theme. This is actually a thing? Yeah. Maybe it was a thing. Okay, at least. So, yeah. No, listen to this. He just. Uh, Shadow Diego's just as bad as what, what was it? Uh, King of Fighters uh, 99 or 98? 98 was all. No. Yeah, where you had to turtle, wait for him to come to you, then punish him after he did something stupid. Unless you were gone for some reason. Unless, you, unless, for, some, unless for some reason you're using Regal. And then you can just and then just do that weird clothesline move, which for some reason beats out that everything the boss version has. Yeah, yeah, it beat out the it beat out the Kaiser wave. What? No. Remember way. when he set up the barrier and you did it and it beat oh. out the Kaiser? Did it beat the Kaiser out for some reason? Okay, now that I don't think that's the Kaiser wave. The Kaiser wave is the big fireball that the regular one has. They want the one. They want the one with the elect big electro ball that it starts as a barrier. No. Yeah, I think uh, it's Athena. just yeah, some Athena. kind of electro barrier. No, that's Athena's move. Athena's. No, he's not talking about the bone thing. He's talking about the giant lightning cage that yeah. surrounds him and makes him pretty much invulnerable. And then he throws it. And that's what we're throwing it, and he can do it in the air. Now, like I was saying, 
They made Shadow Jago that bad for the average player who wanted to play him. And there's no way you can even beat this guy. The only way you can beat this guy is literally turtling or uh, making him, uh, what, what's it called again? Shadow Jago is not made for the average player to play. That's why he's so ridiculously hard to get to. That was medium. He is only, that, yeah, no, no, he is Kyle. only... He said the he's bought he's also said the Kyle not regardless. Any different. No, he said the he said the Kyle too when he, when you fight him. He's at Kyle. Yeah, he's already at Kyle. Really now? Yeah. Hey, so he's Maximilian Christensen. Yeah, because he's literally because yeah. he's literally because he's literally he literally jumped like two difficulties really. He jump, it's like yeah. a you jump as kill like you jump as kill like killer and veteran. You just go right to freaking uh you go right and you go right to uh Kyle. Yeah, that's. But yeah, yeah, he's not made for your average consumer. He's made for your, like, your hot shot, you know, it's true hot shot uh, status. Now, here's my... Being able to okay, drag him out. Not to here's my complaint, though. My complaint was actually him being able to re do a regular combo break uh, breaker mm -hmm. on a shadow man. eclipse. You that added, isn't even combo. It's got, I mean, it's already, it's almost damn near hard for something to, to actually... To actually combo break a move that knocks him in the uh, oh. come in the air, let alone a finisher. But then, but with the shadow yeah. version of said finisher, Ken Lob himself, uh, yeah, voice acted Chief Thunder. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was. Uh, yeah, Ken Lob was actually was involved, uh, involved in that. He showed up. At, he showed up in E3 too. Oh, he yeah. had the DJ Hammer reel. He showed up. He, he showed up. That guy. That guy is like. He's a another, He's like this. He's a Steve Jobs of this game. Of this game. Uh -huh. He's like this. He's like he's like this game Steve Jobs. Yeah, no. I... <laughs> so you think it was yeah, Ken Lob was, was it Grant Kirkhope that was the soundtrack composer? Oh crap! I forgot. You know, damn, I forgot what it was. I was just mentioned one of Max's videos just recently. Who the composer yeah. is? But they're doing the, and they're doing the, yeah, because he's still. I think he's still on. I mean, because whoever the composer was for the other games, he's. Yeah, yeah. he's composing this. Yeah. And then he's and then they're doing a they're doing a new they're doing a killer. Well, for season two, they're releasing the killer cuts thing, and I think they were doing one that had all the other like had. They had everything. Because the the night yeah the nineties uh. What do you call it? The 90s dance theme of the soundtrack is totally unique to Killer Instinct. It's not something you see in other fighting games. If you can find some rhythm with, with the music to it, it's just kind of, I mean, it, it's, it's just you know, hard to do. It, I think in 95 or 96, the Nintendo Power had a thing where you could choose one of three, like, different things yeah. uh, as a bonus, and the Killer Cut soundtrack was the thing I got. The... Oh so yeah, I, I, rem have, I remember they had I have that. A, I have a copy of the Killer Pet soundtrack. I remember. I think they had that. I, don't know, I think they did do that. I still have mine somewhere. Dang. I think it's in my car. <laughs> in my box. <laughs> so, now let's see you play with Jago. With Jago? Yeah. Yeah, working that crap. Okay, working. Working all the way. Yeah, you I don't have you know how to win with him now. You know how now to you, win. Now, now you can yeah, now you can try to orc your way to Shadow Jago. <laughs> that's wonderful. That is just yeah, that is the wonderful. Actually I uh, actually that's the one thing I wanted to see really quick because I think yeah, I'm we could be a real jerk and have him Chief Thunder's way to Shadow Jago. Oh Chief Thunder's easy. Hold on a sec. For you. Hold on. Oh hold on. shut up. Hang on, Jiggle this is just for some this is just for shits and giggles I wanted to see I wanted to see something, actually. I just wanted to see something. Yeah, and can, we like the stage. If you can legitimately combo break a shadow move. No, actually, one thing I want to see. test that. I want to. I already want to know if I got the stage. First of all, I wanted to see something else real quick. I want to know something else if, if you can actually if you can actually do it when you just got for it. And oh, wait, this, this actually this actually works. No, I want to. No, I've seen him like do uh, do a uh, duking, which is an uppercut of his. And and then cancel it into a shadow version of it. Yeah. I don't see why not. As right. long as you execute it before you leave the ground. Probably. Because I'll tell you what, I've nailed a lot of Shoryukens to Shin Shoryukens in third strike. Really? Yes. Really? Let me see. Oh, well, I'm gonna see if we can do that. Here, let me freaking. Granted, you know, more often I will let a Hadouken do a Shin Shoryuken just because of the controls, depending yeah. on the setup. But yeah, if I can like land a like a forward medium, 
can you even do a shadow version of the uppercut, first of all? Okay. Got that down. All right. So. Oh, so I got myself up. Ah, screw that. Try a heavy to that, because there's usually more wind up. Yeah. Oh, so. Let's see here. Let's see here. That's the thing. How the fuck am I able to do that? And hey, why am I still recording this? <laughs> That's a good 